I'm Mike Hart. Here's a look at what we're following on this Tuesday. First Lady Jill Biden has tested positive for COVID-19. This is according to a White House statement released this morning saying that she started to show cold-like symptoms last night. Now, although the First Lady tested negative on a rapid test, a second PCR test came back positive. Mrs. Biden, we're told, is fully vaccinated and double boosted. She'll be taking Paxlovid and is isolating right now from her staff and others for at least five days, we'll continue to track her progress. Meantime, as the new school year is finally upon us, the CDC announcing updated guidelines when it comes to COVID and kids. The CDC has removed its test to stay policy. Now that means that kids who are in close contact with someone who tests positive won't have to take regular tests and won't have to test negative to remain in class. Also gone, social distancing recommendations like keeping classes separate and people six feet apart. Unvaccinated students and staff will no longer need to quarantine if they're exposed to COVID. We should look forward to a very different school year. We should look forward to a school year where every child is in school, in person, full time for the whole year. The CDC does, however, recommend wearing a mask for 10 days and testing on day five after you've been exposed. A new pediatrics journal study indicates nearly 30% of kids hospitalized for COVID or a COVID-related condition, which is called multi-system inflammatory syndrome, had symptoms for about two months after diagnosis, including fatigue, shortness of breath, and coughing. All right, let's get a check of those hot temperatures. They're going to get even higher with Veronica Morley. Hey, good morning. So we have an excessive heat warning in effect, meaning it's going to be a hot week. Make sure to stay hydrated and dress cool. You can see our high today here in Bakersfield, 105, 106 tomorrow as kids are getting ready to go back to school. These triple digits sticking around heading into this weekend. Looking ahead to next week, though, seeing a slight dip in our temperatures. Tatchby and Fraser Park, Park also warming up into those lower 90s this week. Lake Isabella seeing triple digits for the next couple of days and also seeing a 10% chance of rain today and tomorrow. As we look ahead to next week, though, starting Sunday, seeing again that slight dip in temperatures heading into next week. And once again, for back to school, very warm with those slight storm chances. And that's a look at some of the stories we're following right now. Don't forget for breaking news, weather and traffic anytime, anywhere, download our free mobile and tablet apps. Have a great day. Stay cool.